if I can only see a little piece of it. And then if I find some more, I would brush some more. And then I would scrape some more. And scrape and brush and scrape and brush until I got it all uncovered. In the Miocene era, this part of uh, northeast Nebraska was covered in subtropical grasses and patches of jungle. It is extremely rare for whole herds of animals to die and be buried so quickly that their carcasses remain largely intact, but uh, that's exactly what happened at this site. Nearly uh, 12 million years ago, uh, more than 50 species of plants and animals were buried under ash uh, from a volcano that erupted in what is now southwestern Idaho. And gathering at the water hole, there were rhinos and uh, horses and camels, uh, tortoises and the small predators. They were slowly asphyxiated by the ash. Uh, calves were found lying next to their mothers, uh, and the, the larger animals, of course, were the, were the last to die, and so the, they're above the, the smaller birds and, and, uh, and grasses. It's just a little knife called a scalpel and a paintbrush that has soft bristles. We don't know where the fossils are under here, you guys. We don't have any machines with x-ray that lets us look down and tell where they are. So the way that we're gonna find them is by digging for them. And the fossils are kind of fragile. So we don't wanna dig holes. We don't wanna poke down in there. We just wanna scrape away the ash until we find fossils. So we're never gonna do this. We're always gonna scrape across like this. If you visit the site, you should stop first at the visitor center where you can ask the paleontologists uh, about their work. There are interactive displays and, uh, and you, can, you can see what tools they use and it's very informative. And then it's just a short stroll down to the 18,000 square foot rhino barn where just under half of the area under that roof has, seems to have been excavated. This year is the 25th anniversary of the park. So there's still a lot of uh, scraping and brushing to do. It's kind of an eerie feeling when you, when you stop and think that you're standing in a spot where this much history has taken place and that these, these animals have been in the earth covered in ash for nearly 12 million years. <laughs>